Oh Amber's God, here. Like, oh. <laughs> almost fell into the bus, and no one's, everyone's like, oh, Amber's here. We're back at 5280. That is between my tonsils. <laughs> I can't even fit both. <laughs> we got the perfect burner. I don't know what that is. 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 Is it good? Mm. Pretty good? It's a sour. Abby, what the f are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so we're gonna go to this place called Syrup. We were there last week and we didn't put it in the vlog, but it was so good. So we're gonna take Amber there. I am wearing Abby's Timberlands and they have the little wedgie wedges thing in them, so I feel like I look so much taller now. Yeah! Amber is wearing my parka, it's a full ass look. Oh yes, oh yes. sit down and talk about something that happened last night. It was the biggest mess. It was a wreck. I was about to fight. So yesterday we were in Boulder and we were watching Rachel, as always, her basketball game. And <laughs> it was terrible. We lost, but it's totally cool. We it still support. Wreck. Pumas. <laughs> but there was this guy in front of us that was sitting there and like, mind you, he had a, he's an eight year old kid. That's why we know he's eight. But he had an eight year old kid, but he was like on the other side of the actual benches. There was like a, a big like family. A whole yeah. gap. There was like a, eight people. A good family, like grandparents and everything. This kid was sitting probably 10 feet from me. It was me, Zach, Maddie, Amber, Pookie and Becca. Basically the whole game, you know, I don't have much of a voice right now. My tonsils are the size of golf balls back here. But the whole thing I'm saying, go Rachel! I love you Rachel! You can't do that, uh-uh. I can get pretty intense. I can start getting intense. But I was being pretty fun and fresh that game. And yeah. this guy turns around, right? And he's so angrily. Like, like, ugly ass. If I remember walking in, I thought, oh, that guy looks like a writer. Like, I thought he looked cool. I didn't think it. So anyways, and then, okay, so I was just being supportive, right? He turns around, and there's like, okay, like two minutes left in the game, okay? Like, literally, like two minutes. And we've already accepted the fact that we are, our team is going to lose. <laughs> Very badly. Yeah, because you're just cheering. What's wrong right. with that? Yeah. And so then, this guy turns around, and he says... You guys could tone it down when the eight-year-old comes back. Yeah. That'd be great. And I said, so we just sat there. We all sat there for a minute in just silence. Literally, Abby minute. got up and sprinted. No, this is what happened exactly. Okay, I literally was like waiting for someone to say something, and I looked down and I said, "Yeah, I'm just gonna move." She, so so she got, got up and, and left. left. And she went, and then Amber, I felt it coming. I felt it Me spewing. Me being the ADHD, ADD, non-focused person, I didn't even know what the f*** was going on. I genuinely didn't even hear him say anything, but I just saw him go. So honestly, I was like, mm, sis, what's your problem? So I was just like, um, who are you? Why are you this upset that we're cheering? And he just was like, do I need to call your parents? He just looked at Zach and started she said, laughing. Uh 
I literally died laughing. I couldn't. And then said, face, I, I am grown. It's like, you can talk to me. <laughs> the funniest thing was thinking, oh, God. what would he have done? Like, you could call my parents and like, then what? <laughs> like, Here you go. Let's talk about this eight-year-old, though, because I was, oh, yeah. he was staring at me the whole entire game. He back looked back time. and asked his mom, and I read his lips, and he said, why are they cheering? And I was like, <laughs> In their defense a little bit, we were on the home team side. Um, yeah, give we you were. that. We no, were right we in the middle. Yeah. We were right behind the booth where like the announcers the scoreboard scoreboard and scoreboard and scoreboard yeah, I guess and all that. Yeah. So after that, we kind of just hung out and it was just so uncomfortable. There was such an awkward like tension. Amber, when he was walking out, she goes, don't call my parents. <laughs> don't call him. <laughs> don't call him. He like, like handed his bag like he was going to do something. And I was ready. I was like... All right. So that's just one little quick little story about how like parents can get so intense for legit no reason. So intense. And that's why I got intense. That's it for the vlog today. Comment down below the rowdiest sports event you've ever been to. Bye!